Hi, this is my special review on how I lost 15 pounds in about 25 days. So I just want to go over, um, I started a diet because I weighed 155 and at the end of my 25 day mark, I ended up weighing 138, which is like my high school weight. Um, I have a baby that's like, like a year and a half old and I weighed 180 pounds after I had her. And um, it took me about a year to just lose 20 to 40 pounds. And then the other 20 to get back down was a little bit hard because I'm a little bit older and the food that I'm eating is not that good because um, I cook a lot of fast soul food. And um, I, my goal was to really lose weight to become more healthy. So I wanted to switch. I couldn't become vegan because I'm not ready for that. So I decided to try to take steps to eat healthier. So my diet included asparagus, kale, kale salad, portobello mushrooms, key limes. Um, if I used any dressing, it would be like uh, apple cider vinegar dressing or uh, some kind of ginger salad dressing. Delicious. And I would cut up no dairy, no alcohol, sorry, no caffeine. Oh, I'm addicted to caffeine. No sugar. Ah, I'm addicted to that. Um, dairy. Oh, no meats. If I have to have any type of meat, it would be wild salmon, salmon. So I learned probably 25 ways to bake or fry or not fry, sorry, not fry, um, bake or cook a salmon um, with different types of uh, things. The first seven days, I lost 10 pounds. The main thing I was doing those first seven days were drinking mineral water, bladder axe and sea moss. Ow! This is sea moss. This nutrient has, it's like a thing from the ocean. It looks like it's alive. It, it was alive. Um, it's a thing from the ocean, sea moss. It has about 98, I think, of essential nu nutrients that we get. Um, I use this sucker, blend it up in a, in a blender, and I make a gel, sea moss gel, um, and I mix it with bladder axe. So this is bladder axe and sea moss and actually clove. I added clove as another supplement for female stuff um, into this. And I drink it as a tea. Um, the bladder axe is so nasty. It smells so nasty. Um, I use uh, cinnamon or allspice to make it um, smell good. Because as soon as you cook this as tea, your whole um, kitchen smells like the ocean. And it's not that good to taste because I first got bladder. This bladder axe, ugh. Sea moss doesn't have a smell. Bladder axe, ugh. Mm. You put cinnamon in that sucker, chase it down with some coconut milk, some aguave, um, and some so coconut milk, aguave, and vanilla um, with your sea moss and bladder axe. Tastes delicious. It's just like a chai tea. You have more vanilla. It's like a vanilla bean uh, tea. Love it. I can down that. That is the main thing that I drunk that helped nourish my body and replenish it because the sea moss restores and replenishes all your nutrients. So like, you know, you take supplements, but your body doesn't really absorb all those supplements because it's man-made. Your body absorbs God-made, higher power-made things. So the, the goal of this diet is to eat more organically alkaline food. So you can Google alkaline diet to get more information about that matter of fact the main person that had me on this all credits go to rest in peace dr sabi dr sabi is a phenomenal man that changed uh, the african environmental diet he has a lot of good inter interesting facts on there i was like obsessed about him when i first found out about him and i'm like let me start incorporating some of his practices into my lifestyle um the major issue i did this diet is because fatigue sleep I'm getting older. I'm 34. I need to take care of my body. I'm a single mom running around taking care of three kids. So I got tired of taking the weight loss pills that are manufactured by man. I'm tired of taking that stuff. So there's got to be a better organic, healthy way to do it. So the main thing I stumbled on was sea moss, bladder axe. That is my all four. Um, if you're a woman, you're having problems with menstrual stuff, add some red clover to it. Helps with PMS, cramps, and this and that. Sorry, guys, I had to go there. It also helps with uh, fertility issues. Um, red clover is awesome. They, they used to use it back in the day to clear the fallopian tubes so people could conceive. Um, sea moss and bladder axe. Bladder axe flushes the system of toxins, parasites, 
viruses, mucus, all of that stuff. CMOS restores and builds up. It is a great thing that curves appetite as well. So I would drink CMOS three times a day along with that spring water. Another thing is I'd have the soup substitute. I found ghee. I can use ghee. This is clarified butter, butter from organic um, cows. I use this as a substitute, but not as much. I use extra virgin oil, cold press, use that, everything I could. Fish. I bake fish. My vegetables, if I pan fry my vegetables, stir fry my vegetables, um, I do that. And I try to select high alkaline um, uh, vegetables, uh, vegetables that have not been GMO created or changed or, you know, from whatever the government's trying to do. Because you have to be aware, most of our food's been altered. And you want to go to the original foods, like kale is phenomenal. Asparagus is phenomenal. Another thing about asparagus that I love that I found out, like I never liked asparagus, but my mom used to eat it all the time. Um, and I never liked it until I made it one time and I seen the benefits. Like you can eat asparagus, right? And have a hangover and it flushes out your body. It, it, it prevents a hangover. So that asparagus is a huge detoxer. You eat that stuff, it flushes everything out. Like it'll make you regular, it'll, it'll help with diabetes, it helps with cancer, it helps with a lot of things. It just flushes everything out and the fiber content in the stems is so high, your body can't absorb it all, it just all out. It cleanses the liver and the kidneys, it does a lot. You eat that three times a day. I'm eating asparagus for the rest of my life, probably three times a day. I love it now. I have a recipe where you can bake it. You put asparagus, you wash it first, Put in the oven for 15 minutes on 350 or 375. Put olive oil on it, sea salt, um, pepper, paprika, and turmeric, and um, garlic. Now, all of those three things that you're adding on there are great nutrients for the body, great herbs for the body that help do a lot of things. Um, another thing, I've been on this for probably three years. This sucker, the key ingredient is alapurin. This sucker does a lot. Like it's amazing. I read one review that someone even gave it to their dog, and their dog had like warts in their ears or something. And then like after a month or something, the dog's warts went away. This sucker helps with depression, anxiety, mood. Um, enhances mood, increases metabolism, kills off parasites. Mm. So if you eat something that's like nasty, flush it out. It even helps you not to get sick. It helps with toothache. I had a toothache on this sucker for a year and didn't get an infection because this sucker. Um, here's another one. Black seed oil was on this sucker. I just started this. It helps with mucus. Asthma. It helps with asthma as well. All that mucus secretion that happens in your lungs and your body, it helps with all that flushes out the system and then also if you put it on your joints if people have arthritis pain you put it on your joints it helps with that too as well i even use it on my back when i have cramps so it's a pain reliever a natural pain reliever there's so many things that god made that we can use so why not research about it and find out about the pros and cons for your um health and then try to teach your kids about it because some of these things can prevent us from even going to the hospital or, or getting sick or going to the doctors um, so the main thing is, and I'll go back to the diet, main thing, seven days I lost 10 pounds, and that's using sea moss, bladder rack, having kale salads, green leafy salads with spinach, and then no sugar, no carbs. If I did have carbs, every now and then I would have, um, I'll go to Dunkin' Don Donuts and get the little, uh, packets of the hash browns. They come in like a pair of six or seven little mini hash browns and I would eat the junk out of it. Oh my gosh. Or if I went to fast food because I was getting it for the kids because I had a lazy day where I didn't want to cook, I would get myself a small fry because I absolutely, even with that, I still lost the weight. But you absolutely want to cut out all processed fast food and meats. If you absolutely have to have meat, get salmon, not tilapia. I was eating tilapia and then I didn't really know like tilapia. Tilapia is like in a little bundle. It's not even a wild fish. They put it in little buckets and raise them and they grow. It's like, how are you eating something that's, it's like eating fish out of an aquarium, like a, a small, no, that's not healthy for you. They're not getting all their nutrients to get to you. So wild, wild salmon is great and I'll bake that and put olive oil on it. Um, another thing is koya rice, um, fine high alkaline rices that you can use. I did, any rice I did was rice or black beans and if I had to do a rice, I put, um, 
what's it called in it? Um, a habanero pepper. A habanero pepper has like a lot of good benefits in it that circulate the system and flush things out as well. So the first seven days, drink your water, uh, bladder rats and sea glass three times a day, cutting out carbs, uh, processed foods, and eating high alkaline foods. Um, that helped like so much. I lost I lost 10 pounds in seven days and I was amazed. Then I got sick. For, um, I didn't get sick, but I went on vacation for three days. And then of course they didn't really have, I was cooking everything at home, so my options were what they had at the restaurant. So I dipped and dabbled a little bit and I cheated. Then I went back onto it the next week and I lost seven more pounds. And then I started worrying, I'm like, I'm losing all this weight so fast. So I started adding a little bit more rice to my diet to kind of balance it out. And the next seven days, I lost, uh, what, so I lost 10 pounds, I lost, what, about 5 pounds the next week, and then around the 25th day, I lost another 3 pounds. And the thing I noticed is, like, my skin is clear, I have more energy, and whenever I do eat some fast food, I feel, I feel really tired and bogged down. Like, that stuff is not good for us. I don't know why we're eating it. There's no benefit for us and I'm trying to get myself out of the red of getting my kids to, to eat that because I feel like they'll be not as sick as much if they're eating healthier and they'll have less trips to the doctor so these are my favorite things another thing I did was oregano oregano oh those are the herbs I put it in rice everything this is the extract that I used um but I mix that with um olive oil and spin it around and I do two drops underneath my um uh, tongue every day just for um, wellness and stuff like that um, that helped out with a lot of things you know um, it just health wise um, I noticed that uh, I substituted with um, I use a lot of this on everything I cook with um, another thing I used is red clover these are for the women a lot of benefits with that if you research it for your womanly areas menstruation area but what I noticed um, with the diet is my skin. I'm 34. People now think that I'm my daughter's sister because, you know, a couple years ago, all the food I ate, I looked really old, um, heavier. My skin looked older and wore down. I had more acne. My skin was not healthy. My skin is so radiant now. It's, it's amazing, like, the difference how my skin is now to compare to how it was. Um, uh, with this diet, if you do, I would do it for only 25 days, take a break and then start eating like some rice, some brown rice or something to bulk up because if you lose 15 pounds in 20, um, 25 days and you do it again, you will lose the same amount of weight. You will not, you will lose weight. Like there's, you will lose weight, period. Like I got in the scale and I was surprised how fast it took me to get to 138. And last time I was dieting with just with supplements and, um, other things, and it took me about six months. I gotta go there's the phone ringing. But I just wanted to say, I'll put links below. Ask me any questions that you have. Make sure that you check and research on each of these items before you take it in case you have some kind of side effects. And also talk with your doctor about some of these herbs if you're on uh, pre existing medication. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, work with a new. Uh, what's it called, nutrition specialist if you can, if you have um, these type of alignments, if you already have diseases that you're working on. Um, but if you, if you have any other questions, please send a link. I'm going to put a link down of the stuff that I use. And um, I wish you the best in your journey to lose weight. The high alkaline diet, best thing ever. Um, eliminating that starch, starch, alcohol, caffeine, and sugars, and processed foods, you will lose weight and feel wonderful is is going to be great for you i wish you the best blessings and um, prosperity and peace and whatever your goals are stay true to yourself and your dreams and you will come